One note of caution, always be careful. Funny that. They might not be giving you the full picture or they might have made, you know, an innocent mistake. We're about to rip the lid off of this thing. It's time to rip the lid off of it. They've been protected by the media, of course. The person's name can't be said. In the past few minutes, the BBC presenter at the center of the row has been named as Hugh Edwards. Hugh, you're next. So we have truth and accuracy, two of the BBC's basic news values. Why did the media decide to protect this person? Why do they want to protect his name so badly? Interesting. The audience need to trust you. If you're going to attack me for a year and a half with no conviction and no proof of anything, you'd think when they find somebody who's actually done something, they'd attack them for at least a year and a half plus a day. One more important bit of advice. To protect people under the age of 18, you must only use their first names in reports Never use surnames, okay? That's a good policy too. To protect people under the age of 18. To protect people under the age of 18. You must... You know, been accused of soliciting pictures from a teenager. And it's going to be very interesting for everybody to pay attention to how long this story remains in public consciousness once this person's name is eventually revealed. Because the BBC has managed to get some high court injunction to protect this person's name. The courts of the UK believe it's fantastically important to protect this person's privacy in his life. We don't want his life to be ruined. Don't print him all over the media. Don't put him all over TV. Don't call him all these terrible things. That'd be bad for his mental health. That'd be bad for his mental health. In a statement, his wife Vicky Flynn said her husband was, and I quote, suffering from serious mental health issues and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he will stay for the foreseeable future. As is well documented, he has been treated for severe depression in recent years. The events of the last few days have greatly worsened matters. He has suffered another serious episode. Um, obviously, there is great sympathy for someone in mental distress, and I think I think it's very important that we 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 keep in uh, perspective too that nothing in terms of his behaviour has been proved or disproved as yet. And it's actually interesting to me the level of hubris that BBC staff operate under when some clown like Lucy can come sit here and try and grill me on morality. That's our policy. I'm sorry, but all questions must be submitted in writing. Have fun, and we'll talk again. <sighs> Thank you, though. That the MSM are worse than dishonest. They are worse than liars. They are genuinely evil. One note of caution, always be careful.